wanna be like you. It's so true. I wanna walk like you, talk like you. Stop at nothing until he has this boy. If anything happens to that kid, I'll never forgive myself. of the Disney making their animations into live action movies. We've had Maleficent. <laughs> We've had Cinderella, which I actually really enjoyed. And now we have Jungle Book. Now Jungle Book, when I heard about this movie, I was like, okay, they're making a Jungle Book movie. And when I heard it was the most technological advanced movie of all time, I was like, really? Jungle Book? I was expecting something like Star Wars or some other kind of science fiction movie to be the most technological advanced movie of all time. But now it's Jungle Book because this movie is pretty much completely made on a green screen. You have the animal. Everything about this movie looks so real. You, you tell someone it was made completely in a green screen, it would probably amaze some people. Just holy crap. John Favreau did an incredible job directing this. Oh man, so much work must have gone into making this movie. Now the story is pretty simple, that's probably my one negative of the movie, and it's pretty much verbatim of a, the classic Disney movie, except for the man village stuff going on. One thing I didn't care for was, I didn't care for the tiger, which I'm gonna call Scar, and there is a stampede scene in this movie that is such Lion King. I like, holy crap, it looks just like the Lion King. I, I didn't really understand his motivations for wanting to kill the human, Moby, M Moby something. I think that's the character's name. But forget motivations. This guy was an incredible villain. He does something in this movie, which I recommend not taking your little, little kids to go. If you're, I think if they're six or seven, I think you're good to see it. But man, this movie was so, wow. That villain was so cool. Voiced by Idris Elba. The voice cast. Now the one voice actor that I could have done with Al was probably Scarlett Johansson as a snake. Because the snake was in the movie for five minutes, maybe. And I'm like, okay, because uh, I've only seen the animation like once. And I was back when I was a young easy. But the best part about this movie was Bill Murray as Baloo. Oh, man, Baloo, he was so awesome as freaking like, He was hilarious. I'm sorry, his one liners was great. It's classic Bill Murray. This is the best Bill Murray has been in years. Years! My gosh, it's so great seeing the, him play this character that he is Baloo. The relationship with him and Baloo is so good. They even had that one song, Bare Necessity, but my favorite song, they do have music in this movie, but as you can tell my intro, I want to be like you. You also have Ben Kingsley voice in Black Panther. Every voice pretty much fit the role, maybe except for Scarlett Johansson, but other than that, it was really good. Overall, Jungle Book was a pretty good movie. There are flaws in this movie, but I give this movie more credit because of what it did. Technology-wise, the special effects were incredible. The CGI made this look all real, even though it's made all on like a stage. Also, the main actor, Mowgli, he was incredible in this movie. Have to act in green screen. We've seen it gone terribly. I'm thinking in Star Wars Episode Two, rolling around in green screen grass. Overall, I'm going to give The Jungle Book an A. Wow, I can't believe I want to say that because I've been talking crap about this movie because I was worried about it. But hey, I love being surprised. Have you seen Jungle Book and what are your thoughts? Comment below, let me know and tell me what's your favorite animal in Jungle Book. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and subscribe to see more. All too easy.